don't jump to a massive cast. It's important to have a diverse cast of characters and I think it's worthwhile having multiple characters if you can manage that because it does make the book more interesting when you've got more people around the story. But don't go from two characters to 20 now. You know, build up to that, unlike what Christina did. Build up to having a big cast. If you want a big cast, do it, but don't expect to be perfect at it overnight. And don't have them all in one scene. Keep it as few as possible in a scene. Tying back to one of our earlier points, make sure they have a reason to be in the scene. If they don't need to be there, send them home. Send them <laughs> send out with a dog. Home. Off you go. Excuse Do me. Bye bye. Out the scene. Off you go. <laughs> well, well, it's true. If they don't need to be a part of that conversation, not having them in that scene gives them depth because then they're not just there for the purpose of your main character. They are at work. They are looking after a pet or a child. You know. Tying back to bad examples, there was a show I watched recently, and I think it was the penultimate episode. They made a big deal about this character apparently being a father, and he never knew he had a child. And it was all about him and his new partner bonding with this child. And then in the next episode, they were at a dinner party with their friends. There was no mention of the child, and everyone who would have babysat for them was in the room. What yeah, happened it's just... to the child? Yeah, it felt like they were going, here's some story for this character. Oh, no, never mind. He's busy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really, really annoyed me that they didn't think of something as basic as who's babysitting. And that's something that bugs me in general when, like, characters have a child or they have a pet and, like, it's not explained who's looking after them. It's only one line. You can afford that one line to say, like, your your parent is looking after the dog or they're babysitting or you've got, you're paying someone to do it, you know? It, it's what would happen in real life. So it makes your characters more realistic and, again, adds more depth to them. Definitely. The dog deserves a story, man. Don't forget the dog. 